Hey, what's going on everybody? Hopefully you guys are having an awesome day and are going to be having an awesome weekend. So I just wanna to talk to you guys about what's going on with a couple of the snakes. So kind of a good news, bad news type of thing. Uh, so we'll just jump right into that. Um, Mountain Dew has been having issues eating for the last couple of weeks and not sure what's going on with her. Uh, definitely stressing me out, making me super worried um, because obviously we don't want anything to happen to any of the snakes in the room and um, trying to catch if something's bad is going on before it gets worse. And if we have to make a vet visit, um, definitely going to uh, call the local exotic place and try to book an appointment. The only thing that I'm worried about is uh, getting fecal matter because she hasn't eaten in a while, so she's not pooping. And then when she does poop, she poops in the water. And then when she was pooping because of eating birds, it's just like a bunch of feathers. Bunch of feathers in the water, so I don't think that would really work. But, um, so, she does not have respiratory infection. She's not wheezing. She doesn't have bubbles. She doesn't have anything weird going on like that. So, I have absolutely no idea what's going on. So, um, what was going on was, you know, I made a video of her two weeks ago, possibly. And uh, she looked good. She looked healthy. Skin was perfectly fine. No issues. And then I was trying to feed her. And then all she would do was she would eat, she would strike, she would wrap the quail, and then she just would not do anything. Else. She'd do like one wrap and then she would just completely ignore it over and over and over again. And I basically wasted like six birds because I would just leave them in there with her overnight because I figured maybe um, it was too bright in here or something threw her off and maybe she would eat it, find it later, and then eat it. But that was not the case. And then a couple days ago, I started to notice that her skin looked super dehydrated, um, really, really wrinkly. I'll try to put up a picture if I can figure out how to do that on, <laughs> on the editing. Um, and I mean, it looked like she basically was like dying and I didn't take care of her at all. It looked like I left her out in the sun for a week and super, um, saggy skin. It did not look like a shed. I've never seen, a, if it, if she is going into shed, I've never seen a snake look like she did um, going into a shed or after a shed. So try to feed her multiple times the last couple nights, every single time she would strike and she would wrap and she would uh, just let it go. Super weird. So she has the energy, she had the energy to do that. Um, so basically what I did was I completely took everything out of her enclosure, all the mulch, cleaned everything, soap and water, and I gave her a new water dish, a much smaller water dish just so I could monitor things, um, easier. I mean, it wasn't that big, but it just made me feel better if I put a smaller water thing in her paper towels, just in case something came out of her that was weird that uh was not supposed to happen so today i'll post a video after cleaning this all out um her skin still looks a little well actually it doesn't look that weird it does a little bit but as you can see there's a huge lump right there so she ate i'll post a video here in a little bit on that um, it took her like two hours to eat it though. So I don't know what was going on with her. I don't know if it was just because it's turning into summer, the outside temperature, the inside temperature, um, something with the, the climate. I have no idea. I've never, you know, um, experienced this. Pop-Tart's never done this to me before. So I don't know why she is. But I mean, so her, you know, she looked like she was super dehydrated, but you guys have seen her before and she looked fine and she had a huge water thing, like half the size of here and the humidity. I put one of these little digital things in there and it read 99 and it goes, you know, it couldn't go any higher. So it was well over a hundred percent on the humidity. So I might just be stressing myself out for nothing. Um, so she, she ate obviously. So hopefully she keeps that down. And hopefully everything goes back to normal here in the next couple of weeks. So I will definitely know. I mean, if she regurgitates it, I'm definitely not going to touch her or hold her or anything until I 
physically see her um, poop out that bird just so I know there's nothing in her stomach at all that could she could throw back up then hopefully things are back to normal but pff, problem child like I swear she stresses me out so much like from not eating to only eating birds to to what's going on right now it's ridiculous but so bad news that happened good news she ate um still really want to get her to the vet just to make sure there's no parasites i don't think there would be any parasites just because i've had her for almost a year she eats frozen thawed i mean i've got the birds in the the freezer for the last five months um i thawed out the bird out the same way i do the rats and none of my snakes have had any issues like that but and, you know, think if, and it's not respiratory. I know that for a fact because she doesn't have any of the symptoms. So we'll keep you updated on that. And so we got a couple of snakes that are in shed. They're super awesome. Well, I think they're awesome anyways. So the banana clown shed, super cool. And we're really getting more and more of these uh, spots and the freckles in here and stuff like that, which is awesome. Really, really um, active, and oh, we don't want him to get out. And then this girl right here, I'm really excited about. So this is the Hypo Jungle uh, Pastel, and she shed out, and she pooped like crazy when she shed out so definitely got all that out need to put new uh paper towels on there but she she shed and then she just destroyed her cage so the shed is good and most of the time they they do poop in the shed but full shed wouldn't have any issues no stuck eye caps uh, nothing stuck around the base of the tail which could mess her up later uh in life as she grows She's 2019, she is small and she is on large mice or rat pups. She keeps both of them down perfectly well. But, so she just shut out and she looks incredible right now. She super bright, really a nice bright tail. A lot of speckling on her is starting to show up more and more, I think. I really like the, uh, the jungle striping down the top. She's like sliding to get away. But, wow, she is... She just looks really good, I think. I mean, I don't see too many of these. And so I, I think it's kind of unique to see. I really like the, uh, oh, she might bite me. She never really has, but she's kind of agitated right now. The high pinks on her sides, but I love how the tail is. That's just really, really cool. So the jungle stuff, I, I've been sleeping on the jungles for a long time and I'm, Thinking about getting a a jungle this year, possibly if I can find one, a VPI jungle. I know I should not be flying females. I have too many, but it'll probably be a female. I need to buy males. I'm thinking about getting an IMG something male and then wait two years and then uh, see what happens. So. That's basically what's going on. Every other snake in here is super, appears to be healthy. Um, eating fine, going to the bathroom fine, no weird symptoms or anything. So keeping an eye on all of the snakes. I, I just think she's just being super, super stubborn because we can kind of see in right now. And she is in there, in the water, like always. So we'll keep her on paper until she poops. If everything works out then, feed her right after she poops, if she eats again. We'll just call it good. So I'll post a video now of her eating, striking eating. I didn't have the whole thing because it literally took like two hours to get her to uncoil and then eat, which is a really good sign that she had enough energy and all this stuff to coil. But she's not sluggish. Like she's not looking like she's dying. Her skin just looked weird. But all right, I'm rambling on too much. So got to feed a, almost where well, I got to feed a ton of snakes, but that's on the next one. And mostly boas. I'll feed the ball pythons on, on another video, but I got to feed a lot of the baby or the younger ball python or boas. 
So that should be interesting. All right, hopefully you guys um, have an awesome day or night whenever you're watching this. And I do appreciate the support, appreciate the good comments, and I'll see you guys on the next video.